So sex and gender are two different concepts, but gender is tied to biology. Anybody who suggests to you that there is such a thing, for example, as a pregnant male is not a doctor, they are an activist. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all's good wherever you are. In this video, we're going to watch Ben Shapiro debate some woke leftists. Before we get to that, though, I just want to recommend a book to all of you. Uh, I'm an avid reader. I just finished reading this book here. The Rise and Triumph of the Modern Self. If you're a conservative person, if you like this type of content, I think you would enjoy the book. I don't have an Amazon link or anything. I'm not trying to make any money here. Just I really enjoyed the book, and I want to recommend it to all of you because I think you'd enjoy it. Now let's get to the video. Do you believe you're right about trans people given the American Psychological Association, American Medical Association, American Psychoanalytic Association? I can go on for about five more associations mm -hmm. um, that are very prominent and govern the um, the existing like health uh, health government or health industries within, um, like the major yeah. Western countries. Um, and all of these associations have multiple thousands of doctors, sci sociologists, psychologists, and with PhDs in their respective fields backing the idea that sex and gender are different, effectively gaining the medical consensus for sex and gender being two different concepts, yet you have a different opinion. Okay, so sex and gender are two different concepts, but gender is tied to biology. So one of the big problems that, that you see in sort of the, the argument in favor of trans rights is this notion that gender and sex are completely separable. They're not completely separable. If they are completely separable, then this means that identifying people by their subjective gender really has no relevance as to whether they are a male or a female. Male and female are biological terms. So using terminology like male and female to describe a self-perception self of of maleness or femaleness is sort of a bizarre way of arguing whether a thing is a man or a woman. So here's my question. It's an argument that my friend Matt Walsh likes to make. What is a woman? Define what a woman is without reference to the word woman, please. Um, so this is actually a logical fallacy called a red herring. You're asking me a question in different or um, in order to actually challenge my question without no, actually it answering I'm that my... No, it really is not. I'm saying that biology, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you that, that the notion of gender, which is effeminateness or masculinity, can be different from biology in the sense that biology is just pure male or pure female. But to suggest that there is such a thing as an effeminate male is not to suggest that an effeminate male is now a woman. Transgenderism makes the argument that if you believe that you are a woman, you are therefore a woman. Or if you believe that you are a man, you are therefore a man. I disagree with this. There are objective measures as to whether you're a man or a woman. There are objective measures as to whether you're male or female. You're a, there, there's certainly a spectrum when, when, with regard to effeminateness versus masculinity. That's certainly true, but that does not change the underlying sexual dichotomy that is the basis for all human reproduction. I grew up in the 80s, and I used to like watching Back to the Future. And in Back to the Future 2, they go into the future to... 2015 and they got like hoverboards and flying cars are on the way and all this cool stuff and we thought as a kid like wow this is going to be awesome like 2015 hoverboards but instead we're 2023 we live in a clown world where people think that you can wake up one day as a man and just miraculously be a woman which anybody with common sense would tell you that that's not true like if you went to the doctor as a man and you said wow i can't get pregnant well, they would just know that you're a man and you're not supposed to get pregnant. They wouldn't check you for any medical issue. They might check your brain to see if you're mentally ill. But if you went there and said, like, I'm not getting my period, again, they wouldn't do any test on you because men cannot get pregnant. Men have male gametes. Females have female gametes. We live in a clown world. And what this girl said about the red herring, it is not a red herring. That argument, the left likes to say that, of... What is a woman? And then they can't answer it without saying the word woman in it. It's not a red herring. You need to give a description of what a woman is. A woman is an adult human female. Be like if I asked somebody what an apple is. What's an apple? And you said, well, an apple is that which identifies as an apple. Or an apple is that which is an apple. Well, you're not giving me the definition of what an apple is. That's what Ben was trying to get to here. Talk about gender, right, and being more feminine or less of more masculine, less masculine. That's fine. There is no perfect way to be a little boy or a little girl. Just because a boy uh, likes a plushy toy or a little girl wants to play with a G.I. Joe or do jujitsu or she's into watching football with her family, it doesn't mean she's supposed to be a boy. These are personality traits. Uh, you know, putting somebody in a box based on stereotypes is not the way to go. It definitely should not be a reason to do double mastectomies on little girls or give little boys Lupron to chemically castrate them because they're in the wrong body. You're not born in the wrong body. 
You're not a lot of these little kids that we transition or we give uh, you know puberty blockers to. If you let them go through puberty, if they do happen to have, which is a very small number, but if they did happen to have gender dysphoria, it goes away in like the high 90% of people, like 96% of the people, it goes away. And for like a little boy, if it doesn't go away, most of them would just become gay boys. And that's okay. You can be a gay man. You don't need to start chopping up body parts of little kids. The state of California, right, yesterday passed a law that any retail store with over 500 employees, no, this is going to be a bigger box store, has to have a gender-neutral toy section for kids. Like, most of these big companies are going to be the wokey companies anyway. They're going to be your targets and stuff. But it, imagine you're a company that doesn't believe in that. You want to leave boys' toys and girls' toys separate, and now you're going to get fined by the state for not doing that? It's complete nonsense. Yeah, you can... You um, yeah, right, so this dichotomy is a false dichotomy that isn't supported by any of the medical associations that I just named off. Then None of the medical associations that I just named off would actually support the uh, idea that um, gender is biological. This is something that's completely untrue within okay, every gender... single like medical consensus. Uh, well, then I will just say that anyone who suggests that gender has no reference whatsoever to biology, it's not connected in any way to biology, is just full of shit. Because if, if, if the... And, and the reason I... And and the re and the reason that I then say you, then you then you class it then you actually just disagree with medical consensus yes, within the I Western disagree, nation. Yes, I disagree with the false medical consensus driven by politically driven quote unquote doctors. If any doctor denies to me that there is a dichotomy between male and female, a sexual dichotomy between male and female, they are ignorant and they are letting their politics get in the way of their science. Anybody who suggests to you that there is such a thing, for example, as a pregnant male, is not a doctor; they are an activist. I'm very glad that none of these opinions are actually accepted in academia and haven't been for over 70 years. Sent this here on oh, Twitter. Well, okay, so the notion that they haven't been accepted for over 70 years is a bizarre one, considering they were accepted until about five minutes ago. And the basic idea that male and female do not exist runs counter to all mammalian biology, all of it, not just human. Are we to suggest that gender and, and sex are different in walruses? How does this work exactly? Like, uh, uh, are they different in bears? Anytime you have a, anytime you have, all mammalian reproduction is rooted in the idea that there's a sexual dichotomy between male and female. To obscure that with all sorts of semantic word games about how you feel subjectively has no bearing on whether male and female are categories that exist. And if you're trying to define male and female with reference to any subjective category that cannot be identified by any metric whatsoever other than how you feel today, I challenge whether that is scientific or whether that is merely a self-perception that is being guided by a political agenda. I gotta agree with Shapiro, right? If a doctor said that, you would just think they're more activist than doctor. And a lot of these doctors, their research is funded by Big Pharma. They're funded by these leftist universities or these leftist companies. So they have an agenda. They have an ideology that they want to push on people. So at that point, yeah, they are more activist than they actually are doctor. You don't get to separate yourself from your sex. You're born a male or you're born a female. You have XY or you have XX chromosomes. And that is absolutely it. You don't get to change that. Like I did a video recently about Will Thomas, the male biological male swimmer who was competing with biological uh, females in collegiate swimming. I know what a freaking hero, but if he died today and the left put a big tombstone above his grave and wrote, best female swimmer of all times on his tombstone. Well, in a hundred years from now, if they excavated his bones, people would be very, very surprised to find out that the best female swimmer of all times, according to his bones, was indeed a male. Your sex is one of the last things to go when you die. So you are born a male or you are born a female, and that is how you are until the rest of your days. But that does not mean that it is a perfect way to be a boy or a perfect way to be a little girl. You can have, you can like whatever you want, but you don't get to change your sex at any point. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, help it grow. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.